All right, proving that the empty set is a subset of every set. This proof is a little strange, um, but it's also very important. So let's see here, let A be a set. Um, for any set B, what does it mean to say that B is a subset of A? Um, this means that for every element x in B, x is also an A. Um, since um, since there are no elements in the empty set, it is vacuously true that for every element of the empty set, this element is also in A. Thus, the empty set is contained in A and this holds for every set A. So, yeah, the logic here is a little strange at first. Um, the fa be basically, what we need to prove is we need to prove that for every element in the empty set, that element is in the set A. But there are no elements in the empty set, so it is automatically true that any element in the empty set is in A. It's kind of a strange thing that you're able to use logic that way, and being able to do this, um, uh, like if, if this is unfamiliar, you might want to go back through and read, just like read something about vacuously true statements. It's typically something that you go over in like a, um, in a logic course, um, whether it be propositional logic or like maybe like a first course in proofs. Um, but yeah, the um, statements automatically hold for things that don't exist. And that can be really useful in situations like here. Um, but anyways, that's all we need to do. And we've proven that the empty set is a subset of every set. And we're done.